day of this month. And they are not here to witness the last Sunday of the month of June.
We're going to pray in the book of Matthew chapter 5 to 10. The Bible says God is salt on the earth. And when salt loses its sour, it becomes useless. It becomes tasteless. It becomes nothing. Place your hand on your two hands and say, God, place your two hands on your head. I say, God, restore my sweetness. Who knows this? What is sweetness? When we talk about sweetness, sweetness is something that is admirable. Something that people see, people like it. People cherish it. People love it. People want it. Hallelujah. Yeah. But when you are bitter, anything bitter is not eatable. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When they give you something that is bitter now, you will pour it out. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, my father, my neighbor. Everywhere my life is experiencing bitterness. Everywhere my life is experiencing bitterness. Lord, I command the sweetness of my life. Be restored right now.
virus, every 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 virus, every
let me come to mother that despite this, despite this, despite this, I want to give a particular testimony here. Yeah. Despite this, I want to celebrate a particular thing in my life. Despite this, I want to rejoice the particular things in my life. Begin to pray. God is seen. He's seen the sincerity of your heart. He's not in your mind. He knows what is in your heart. He knows what you can do. He knows how you want to talk glory to him. He knows how sincere you are. But I tell you, if you are sincere enough, God is going to do something. God is going to do something. God is going to make someone in the city. God is going to make someone rejoice. Within these five days, God is going to make someone rejoice. God is going to make someone celebrate. Make it a prayer.
Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his good age, and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream. Or Joseph had a dream, and he told it his brothers or brethren, and they hated him yet the more. H. And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us? Or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dream and for his words. 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it to his brother and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obedience to me. Let's go to 11, verse 11. And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the same. 23. And it came to pass, when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they striped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him. 24. And they took him and cast him into a pit. And the pit was empty. There was no water in it. 25. And they sat down to eat bread. And they, they a company, they lifted up their eyes and looked. And behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camel bearing spicy and bound and mire, going to carry it down in Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come and let us sell him to the Ishmael, and let not our hands be upon him, for he is our brother, and our flesh and his brethren were content. Let's go to chapter 39. Come to Egypt. And Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guide, an Egyptian bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelite, which has brought him down tighter. Two, and the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptians. Go to verse 7, 39, verse 7. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast eyes upon Joseph. And he said, Lie with me. Eight, but he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master would not with withheld not what is with me in the house, and had committed all that he had to my hand. There is no greater in this house than I. Neither had he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this? Great wickedness and sin against God. Praise the Lord. I stop here. I'm going to preach a message that title, How can I do this to God? Can you echo it? How can I do this to God? How can I do this to God? How can I do this to God? It's a question that you don't ask yourself. How can I do this to God? Let's bow down and Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, I pray that your word will make it part. Amen. That this message will bring the revelation, will bring reconciliation, will bring repentance, will bring favor into your children, and their life will begin to bear fruit again in the name of Jesus. How can I do this to God? When you read your Bible very well, you discover the story of Joseph. Joseph faced two battles in life. It means that every man that has destiny has a battle to face. 
What was a battle? The first battle that Joseph faced was a battle from the family. Another battle was outside battle, which was a battle from Potiphar's wife. In life, that's what I call foundation. If you are starting point, you can overcome the battle from your starting point. It means there's going to be another battle in the front. That is the reason why every believer of Christ must have a battle mindset. If you are in China front, you don't have a battle mindset or a spirit of battle. You don't have the spirit of fight. It means that Satan will press you to the ground. What happened? Joseph had a dream. First of all, he had a dream and he revealed the dream to his brother. The Bible says they started hating him, they started envying him. Second time, another dream came and the Bible said they envied him and they began to plot how they are going to eliminate his life, how they are going to stop his destiny. I don't know someone here. Let me have a pray to stop the joy of the Lord upon your life. They have been praying to stop the destiny that God has initiated before you. They have been praying to stop your business. They have been praying to stop your progress and prosperity. But I'm here to declare to someone here this money. I say you are unstoppable. 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 I said nothing shall stop you. Your family can never stop you. Your backpack can never stop you. Your kingdom can never stop you. No one can stop you. This country can never stop you. The whole world can never stop you. I say you are unstoppable. If you hear, say I hear. I hear. Say, because of dream. What dream speaks of? Dream speaks of vision and destiny. Speak of what God has seen. Now, when God began to reveal to Joseph, this is what I have for you. This is where I am taking you to. This is what I'm going to make you to be. And Joseph would not hold it and he began to share it. That's why you need to be very careful. Those who open your mouth, you when, when something is coming your way, you begin to open your mouth and begin to talk. Some people cannot close your mouth because your mouth is too open widely. That is the reason why enemy they can have access all the time. That's the reason why those who monitor you day and night, they can easily oppress you because your mouth is too open. And these two spirits that try to stop Joseph, they are very, very serious in one's life. Number one, foundation. His brothers, his, his kindred, people around him, his inner circle, his closest. It means that if you have destiny, the people that will come and attack you, the first enemy that you have, is enemy from your closest. And that your family, and that would be your siblings, and that would be your uncles, and that would be your friends, or would be your kindred. Hallelujah. So that will prove to you that every man you have a battle to fight. You have a battle to do what? To fight. And every man you are battle your family. There is no way you can begin to fight outside when you have not fight a battle in your family. That's the reason why if you can't handle your foundation, if you can't handle family background, if you can't handle just now we pray for family dead, you discover dead is hovering around the family and you, you are experiencing something like that and you are scared and you are worried. It has to be handled until the family background handle. That's where you can handle the one outside. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. First of all, they started plot how they are going to kill him. They threw him inside the pit. But the Spirit of God touches some. He said, No, this is our brother. We can't just kill him and we will receive the blood and the blood will be upon our head. Why don't we sell him out as a 
slave. Why don't we sell him out to the Ishmaelite? Now they sold him out. The Bible says when they sold him out, Joseph became a slave. Now what slave speaks of? Servants. Praise the Lord. In the journey of destiny, for you to become a great man, you must be a servant. You must serve any man you see that is occupying a post. Any man you see that God has honored with position. That man started from the area of servanthood. He has served. That is why he become master. There's no way you can become a master without becoming a servant. You must become a servant first before you become what? They sold him as a slave. And Joseph did not compromise. He was in the prison. The Bible says he was in the prison. We were serving. The first battle. The battle of the family. Say the battle of the family. The battle of the family. If you are a type that prays very well, I don't want you to make this mistake. Let your prayer start from your family. When your family is clean, there's every tendency that outside must be clear. When your family is in peace, when there is peace in your family, your outside life. You must walk, you must get peace. Praise the Lord. So that's the reason if you are a prayer warrior or you are a man that prays very well, if you can handle your family background very, very well, if you can pray for your family very, very well, if you can handle the spirit of poverty, you can handle the spirit of untimely death, you can handle the spirit of sickness, you can handle the spirit of setback, you can handle those spirits you discover that you will be free. Praise the Lord. Because you are part of the family. You are part of them. Anything that is happening, you have a link. You are bloodline. You are lineage. There is what? A connection. There is what? There is what? There is connection. There is no way you can run away from your family. You remember even when God told, when God told them, um, Abraham, leave your country, leave your father's house, leave your country. Still, Abraham went home with Lot. Praise the Lord. Abraham did not go alone. When he was going, he still remembered his brothers, his uncle. He still remembered his family. He had to go with Lot. And the Bible said even Lot gave him a lot of problems. So meaning that there is no way you can forget your family. Praise the Lord. So that's the reason why you are the right person to stand and handle the family barriers and handle the family demons and handle the family yoke. If you can defeat that, the one outside, you will be able to handle. Praise the Lord. When Joseph defeated his brothers, they were celebrating thinking that they have sold him out. But they don't know that they have pushed him into his destiny. And it wasn't end there. The Bible said that when Joseph was serving in Potiphar's house, there was another person. There was another battle waiting in the front. Hallelujah. So never you give up fighting, always know that there is always a battle in the front. As long as you are embarking on joining, destiny, spirit of joining. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, when you are running your life or you are on this journey, there is always something in the front. When you are embarking on joining, you want to travel from here to Benang, you will. There's every time that you meet traffic on the road. You will meet gallop on the road. You will meet all kind of hazard on the road. You will meet all kind of gallop on the road. Why? Because that is a journey. Every journey there's obstacle in the front. So now that's why you need to clean your mind and have a clear a, a clarification that 
there is always an obstacle in the front. Potiphar's wife speaks of love, speak of love, flesh, worldliness, things that is worldly. The worldly things. It speaks of a life that does not please, please God. It speaks of something that Satan has position to bring us down. The Bible says a woman wanted to lay with him, but he said, How can I do this? Never see yourself in a situation. Satan wanted to ride you, and you said, No, how can I do this to my God? Joseph, remember that he's serving living God. Joseph, remember that he served a God that he feared him so much. Now, these two points I'm giving you concerning the battle that Joseph faced. Everything lies on fear of a God. Fear of what? Fear of God. If you are a man, you are a woman here. You say you are a child of God. You don't have the fear of God. It means you have not started. You have not started your race. It is the fear of God that what led. Joseph true. That's what made Joseph to get to his destination. Remember I told you there is always battle to fight. The inside battle and the outside battle. The family one and the one that is waiting you in the front. But you can only overcome when you are a man that have a fear of God. Children of God, do you have a fear of God? Do you have the fear of God? Anything you are doing outside. Where is your fear of God? And we are going to look into who is a man that has the fear of God? Those who are writing. Who? A man that has the fear of God. A man that loves God. And keep his head. Commandments. A man that loves God and keep it there, commandment. John 14 15, he said, If you love me, keep my commandment. A man that loves God and keep his commandments. Do you love him? Do you keep his commandment? If you say you have a fear of God, you must love God and you must keep his commandments. He must not violate his rules. He must not violate his law. He must not violate the thing that he said. Don't do. Remember what happened in the Garden of Eden. The Bible says after God made Eve, Adam and Eve, he put them in the garden. And he said, this is the tree of life. And this is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And don't touch the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You discover that they disobeyed. And when they disobeyed, what happened? Their life led to destruction. They faced the consequence. So now, for you to possess the character that you have the fear of God, you must love Him and you must keep His head. Commandments. Number two, a man. That have the fear of God is a man of wisdom. A man that has wisdom of God. A man that have what? Have wisdom of God. Proverbs 98. He said, the one who gets wisdom loves life and will prosper because of understanding. The one who gets wisdom will prosper because of it. understanding. He will live long. We are talking about untimely death. What is causing untimely death today? Many people don't have fear of God. Hallelujah. 
Many people don't have that fear of God. Because of money. There are people here, you are a believer, and yet you are using charm to make money. Hallelujah. Is waiting for you in the front. You may say you have it, that is true. I tell you the truth, you will pay the price. You will do what? You will pay the price. I'm telling you the truth. You will better repent from it. Believe God and trust Him. Anything that God gives you is peace. And they remain peaceful forever. He said, My blessing make you rich. And I am your soul. People are not ready to hear this kind of message. I am after your life. I'm not after your money. I'm not after your weight. I'm not after anything. Your life is most important. It is better that you have life and you have only one million dollars in your account than you have hundred million and you don't have life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Fear of God. You need to get wisdom. Wisdom to long life. Wisdom will make you live long. Wisdom will take you to the greater high. Wisdom will bring peace into your life. Wisdom will bring many blessings into your life. Hallelujah. Remove your hand. Desist from it. That is deception. They give you something. They tell you do like this, do like that. All those things are the things that will lead you to destruction. Hallelujah. Christian. You are hustling in the street. Consequence of it. You need to hear it. I must say the truth. Praise the Lord. Touch your neighbor say repent. Touch someone by yourself say repent. Touch your neighbor say repent. Cheerily. Let me tell you about wet. People are thinking that when they say wet, much of money, no. When they say you are a wedding man, when they say you are a blessed somebody, a blessed man, a man that is favored, a man who has peace. You have peace, you have house, you have food, you have money. Even though the money is not too much. Hallelujah. If not God what are you going to use it for? What was you need to ask yourself? You build one house, you build two. You buy one car. You see? Maybe you get 10 million in account. Then you are expecting 100 billion. What are you going to use it for? That's the question. Hallelujah. Just to talk with in the account and you claim name that at least you are up to date. You discover that that money also is useless, even though it's in your name. When you die, someone will eat it. Throw it up. Praise the Lord. I didn't tell you that money does not answer all things. Money is good. It's good to have money, but make money in God. Let your money have peace so that you will get in peace. Hallelujah. Amen. I have seen many people who have started the rain and their rain did not cross 10 years. Praise the Lord. Whatever you are doing and you are trusting God and it's coming, not trusting God, let it, let it continue to come that way gradually. Life is gradual. Say gradual. Gradual. Yes. 
When God gave you destiny, God did not say you need to run with this person. You need to compete with this person. When you are competing with the, with somebody, you are putting yourself into pressure because that is not the plan of God for you. God gave everyone plan and God gave everyone destiny. My destiny is not your destiny. Your own destiny is not my own. Hallelujah. Amen. So I don't I don't have any anything to imitate from you. I can't emulate from you. I can't imitate anything from you. Why? Because my own is different. Yes. Your own is also different. Praise the Lord. So when the more Mistake in life. Hallelujah. Don't be pushed. Don't be too much pressured. Some people allow them to be pressured. Hallelujah. How do you know that God is with you? You see, number one, God never sent you to prison. Two, God did not send you to grief. Three, God did not bring sickness to you. You are heavy. He still keeps you alive. Don't you know that God is with you? That God is with you. Don't you know that He's hearing your prayer? Even though it has not come, keep on believing Him. One day it will come. That's how things are going to work. And people, they want every day money, millions. See? Short cut will make your life do what? Praise the Lord. So anything you are engaging your hand into, remove your hand. So remove your hand. Praise the Lord. Don't you ever say get wisdom. And live long. And prosper. Say get wisdom. And live long. And prosper. Is there anybody here who say, I don't want to live long? How are you? You don't want to live long? If you don't want to live long, remove your hands from dirty things. Praise the Lord. Remove your hands from dirty things. If you want to live long, remove your hands. Number three, God's mercy and God's grace is always upon a man that fears him. Praise the Lord. His mercy and his grace is always upon a man that do all that fears him. If you have a fear of God, the Bible says that God was with who? Joseph. No matter whatever that he was going through, God was there. Him. They tried to kill him, God was with him. They tried to humiliate him, God was with him. Even Potiphar's wife tried to put her and terminate his destiny. The Bible said God was with them <coughs> because he had the fear of God. God's mercy and grace is always upon those. Proverbs 10 27. He said, Fear of God prolong life. But the wicked ones, their life will be shortened. Fear of God prolong life. Number four, a man that fears God is a man that has insight of the Holy Spirit. When temptation is coming, he knows when things want to fall apart. So if you have the fear of God, you must. A man that have the spiritual insight. Remember we pray this prayer, say God open my eyes. Sometime before, as you see me, before anything happen, God always show me. Whether it's money, whether it's favor, whether it's good thing, whether it's bad thing, I always see. Except the one that God does not want me to see. Praise God. You see? So now you must have a spiritual insight if you have the fear of God. God will tell you when the enemy is about to devour. God will tell you when good things is about to happen. Hallelujah. The fear of God. Don't you 
the same time the fear of God. Devil is our adversary. Devil is a tempter. Remember how devil, how he put it in the book of Genesis chapter 2. He said the serpent, the devil, was so crafty. Crafty means that come. The devil was so cunning. You see? So always know this is temptation. Always know this is something that is going to bring and bridge your relationship between you and God. You must know how to refuse and do what? And reject. See? Devil will come in different ways to tempt you. And how devil works? If they will tempt you, try to use people to tempt you, it didn't work, they will use yourself to tempt you. To tempt yourself. When you read the story of Balaam, the Bible said that when Balaam hired Balaam to call the throne of Israel, God did not allow Balaam to call them. But Satan came and told, use Balaam. And he told Balaam, carry the young, young female of your people and inflict them. They will take your men out. They will take the men of Israel out from God and they will worship the Baal. You see? And immediately they follow that trick. The children of Israel they began to worship Ireland and the wrath of God came. You discover that they said they were the one who attracted the sea. They were the one who attracted the rock of God. So that's the reason why you, as a child of God, you should always be very careful. Always know how to refuse and how to do what? To reject. When Potiphar's wife said, they, they, don't, Joseph, live with me, he said, No. How can I do this to whom? To God. See? Fear of God. Fear of God. You are here and you want to commit blood. You want to do abortion. Your girlfriend tell you bring money, I want to abort it, and you are sick. Praise the Lord. You never have fear of God and say, How can I do this to God? When you are both a child, the blood is on the neck. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why are you all silent? <laughs> is everybody doing a portion here? No. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. A portion. There are people who you have you, 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 you've done abortion for almost seven times. Meaning that you have killed seven children. May God forgive you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is why you need to marry. Those blood, they are your name. You may think that it's not enough. The time shall come where the repercussion will start. It's what limit life. It is what cut life short. It is what make people not to prosper in life. It's what make even though the time you go and marry is what make the marriage to be limited. I'm telling you the truth. So if you are a such person practicing abortion, you need to put it to an end. You need to stop it. If you don't stop it, it may cause your life short. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you hearing my voice? Yes, sir. Are you hearing the sound voice of God? Yes, sir. You are a man here. Somebody asks you to give me money to do that. Tell the person that you don't do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Know how to refuse and reject. Don't every time give to Satan. Don't turn to Satan all the time. Don't submit to him. The Bible says resist him and he will flee away. And many people don't know how to refuse. Their life is all with that. Their life is just like a wave of that toes the sea. If you push them like this, they will go. They don't know how to say no. 
If you pull down like that, they will come. You must resist the devil. Praise the Lord. Say, I must resist him. A man that fears God will never disappoint God. Joseph said, How can I disappoint my God? Anywhere you are, you should have the spirit and will not disappoint God. No matter what, God, I will not disappoint you. The last, but not the least, verse 16 to 21, he said, The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with the who? Joseph. Why? Because Joseph had the fear of God. God will always will be, will be with those who fear him. No matter the plot of the enemy, no matter the allegation, no matter enemy they try to put something on your head, God is always with them that fears him. He said, God is with those that do all that fears him. God is with you. Amen. I said, God is with someone here. Amen. Let us be on our feet as we go to pray. Hallelujah. Are you blessed with the word of God? Yes, sir. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. If Papi says, how can I do this? I don't know someone here. You have heard the, prayer, the, the, the preaching. You have heard what God is saying to you. Which area can you speak to the spirit? How can I do this? You are here. You have practiced abortion. You have practiced idolatry, fornication. You have practiced all kinds of things. The Bible said Joseph had a fear of God and God was with him. No wonder why it looks as if that God is running away from you. Why? Because you need to check and examine your life. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. It's time to pray. I said, God, have mercy. I will not do that again that hurt you. And from today, I will begin to have a fear of God. Begin to pray. I say, God, let the fear, the spirit of the fear of God, the spirit of the fear of God, let it take over you today. Let it take over you, the spirit of the fear of God. Anything you do, that you will have the fear of God. You will not do things that will make God angry with you. You will always have the fear of God. Fear of God. Fear of God. You know, you are put hard in charge to make money. You've done so many abortions. It is time to repent. And probably I said, come on, I will not do it again. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to do it again. I desist from it today. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. If you are here you want me to touch you, just touch you only a touch. Come on. Before we will pray another prayer. You want me to touch you. Play God and say touch you. Touch you. Touch you. Touch you. Touch you. Touch you.
you will come back to God. Whenever you return back to God, there's always a portion that God is going to give you as a new thing. Praise the Lord. There's always a new thing that God will do in order to encourage you. In order to let you know that He loves you. Praise the Lord. Give it up your hands. Lord, let your favor rain upon the Lord. I pray as your children will turn back to you with the fear of God. Let that spirit of fear of God be planted in you today. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I release the grace. Make that to be strong, Lord. You say you will never remember their sin again. You will never remember their follies. You will not remember every day they have hurt you anymore again. Lord, favor them. Receive favor. Receive favor. Receive favor. I command no thing to happen in your life. As a way that God will use to show your love. I decree and declare today. You will not go back to your fullness again. Yes, you will not go back to the area of your fitness again. Yes, In the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, I pray that fresh life has started. Yes, fresh spirit. Yes, fresh breakthrough. Yes, fresh connections. Yes, fresh favor. Yes, fresh contact. Yes, fresh opportunities. Yes, In the name of Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. So, those that want to pay their tithe, your tithe is your 10% and you believe that God has given it to you.
come to death in abundance in Jesus name. Amen. You will not lack money. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Here, Raoke, she's a big girl, and our sister here, they will be dedicated to the beautiful daughter here. So put your hands together for Master Jesus. Bible said that children are a blessing from God. Amen. We are dedicating a blessing to this family. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Those who are dedicated each other, are you ready? Sister Abigail, please can you go to the front there? And the families of Abigail and those who are glad to rejoice with this family and to thank God for this blessing that just came into this church. Yeah, what is the name of the mother of the lady? Why not give us good music to celebrate? Why not Jesus don't do me better? Why not Jesus don't do me better? I am the winner. Why not Jesus not to be better? Why not Jesus not to
taking care of his family. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree and I declare the Lord that in abundance they will experience. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Destroy today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
Lord, I ask that even as they go out, men shall favor you. Yeah. Women shall favor you. Yeah. Your helpers will come to you. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yeah. In grace. Please, this Friday is a long night, PG. It's a miracle night.